Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're doing another stipulation draft here, and it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, the stipulation is from Bulamog. It says, 60 card deck prioritize Primeval Titan and Ulamog, the one that's always hungry. So we have to build with a 60 card deck in mind. That's terrifying. We really gotta, we really gotta prioritize here. I think we just take Bitter Blossom. Like honestly, Mono Black is one of the easier decks to build a 60 card deck around because you can just get so many playables. But also, oh, here we go. Like he's always hungry. <clears throat> I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'd love to have this Coalition Relic. I really, really would, but I'm gonna take Ulamog here because we have to prioritize around this fat daddy. So we're doing it. Oh my god. Katie, what's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you in your car now, driving? <clears throat> Alright, so... Hey, Rick. Happy September. Glad I could catch a live stream a while ago. Mucho came up with a character name for the last name Pennybird. Do you remember the first name? Uh, was it Rasputin? I think someone said Rasputin. <laughs> Thank you. I can now get a good night's sleep. Wow. Yeah, it's also September, so if you guys have not subbed or if you were gifted a sub, definitely consider uh, continuing that sub or subscribing for 250 in the month of September. Um, I'm going to probably take Obnixilis because I still don't have a reason to go off of black here, and that dude is wonderful. If we open a Primeval Titan, black green's definitely a thing we can do. Ajax, um, I actually think it looks fantastic. I'm really, really enjoying the uh, the spoilers so far. Oh, Merchant? Gray, are we gray merchanting with our 60 card deck? I think we are. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, yes, indeed. Grayborn Muse? Okay. All right. <clears throat> We're looking like mono black, and we got Ulamog, which is one of the two conditions. So... Aetherborn? All right, we're just gonna keep up the black, the mono black train here. This is the this is the world we're trying to live in. Yeah, I feel like this standard format has gone on for far too long. I feel like double Teferi has gone on for far too long. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong, Teferi time raveler is still gonna be legal, but I, I think it's a lot less oppressive if it's not if there's not multiple Teferis. Skin render? Good play Soren. Splash it maybe. Creeping Tarpet's also good. I think we're just taking the skin render. <laughs> Do I have news for you about a certain course that yeah, you ain't kidding, man. I am not looking forward to that. It's just a very funny it's a very funny move by Wizards where they're like, God, people seem absolutely miserable with the number of Teferis in standard. Let's make the next course at Teferi centric, and you're like But why? <clears throat> I'm gonna be open packs of Teferi corset like Are, Are you serious? serious? This is torture. You're, You're torturing, torturing me and everyone, everyone else watching. watching. Wait. It's kind of a power move. They're like, you know what? 
Fuck them. Give them all the Teferis. They don't like it? What are they going to do? Stop playing? No. Idiots. Eldest Reborn? All right, we're doing it. All the black cards. Like I said, all the black cards. See, the reason I went this direction was because the last time we had the mono black deck, um, we were easily the only person in that seat, and uh, we had an embarrassment of riches when it came to playables. So I figured if that goes, if this, if this breaks that way again, then I think. Do you ever just crave a Whopper? I mean, you know I've... I think you know I've craved Whoppers ever since the Impossible Whopper has been unveiled. But before that, I didn't, really. But that's just because meat, like... Red meat wasn't really on my... My radar as, like, a food that I would pick up regularly. But yeah, as far as as far as far Whoppers go currently, there's definitely times where I'm like, I'm just going to Burger King and get an Impossible Whopper. I'd also be really curious to know, like... <clears throat> how the business went, how business has been going for Burger King ever since they introduced the Impossible Offer, because it seems like you're, it seems like you're catering to, um, a clientele that otherwise would not be frequenting. Like, I, I hadn't gone to Burger King in, like, probably 10 years, other than, like, wanting, uh, like a croissant witch. So, like, I mean... I'm going to take the single black card. A no, single red card. Eh, stomping ground. That's a late stomping ground. We got no black cards on the return, but I don't think there were that many either, so. And yeah, like, so what I was saying is, like, I haven't gone to Burger King in, like, ten years, but I've gone to Burger King, like, five times in the past the past week or so. Not the past week. The past month, month and a half, two months. Ever since they've been available. So, like... <clears throat> Uh, they're insanely good, yes. As, as someone who doesn't eat <clears throat> red meat, the Impossible Whopper is a fantastic uh, substitute. If we could take Doomfall or Kite Reaper, it might just be Orzhov's Signet. Then I regret not taking the... Um... See, this is sad because these five picks were all... Like, this is just five picks we can't play. You know what I mean? Could also take Sun Titan and just be black white. And that gets us Blessed Alliance as well. They have a regular Whopper and Post Whopper together as the deal? I've never even seen that. That's interesting. I mean, I would take Signet over Freebooter just for the ramp. I think I'm going to do that. It doesn't commit us to white. Leave me now. You take away the <laughs> to couples. Couples where like one of them eats meat and the other doesn't. Duplicate is Dece. Yeah, it's probably better than Life Bane Zombie. It just gets gets everything. Hero's downfall? Oh yeah. We're taking it all. Kalitas. Do you guys say Kalitas or Kalitas? I say Kalitas. Kalitas reminds me of Kali, Kali Ma from uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Where the dude's like, Kali Ma! And then he pulls the heart out. <clears throat> you know. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, we're just taking the Kalitas. Oh, Masakre Worm. Yeah, I'll take a Masakre Worm. Um, I don't like Underworld Connections that much. Like, I just never find myself playing it. I think find is actually fine to get two creatures back. Like, I really... If, even if you can't cast the finality half, um, I think it's still fine. Liliana's Mastery is okay, too. Skinner Render's a zombie. Grey Merchant's a zombie. And it does just sit on the board. I think we'll, I guess we'll take that. It sits on the board for, like, Grey Merchants and things. You hear that, cat? Oh. <laughs> What's the sound of my mix? Mao. <clears throat> oh, a Soren Solemn Visitor. Not a great, not my favorite Soren by any means. 
But we do have a Signet, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. And we can also play Blessed Alliance if it comes down to it. We can also take Olivia because we have a bunch of red cards, and maybe we can splash those. I'm going to take the Sauron. I think it's more likely that we play that. Oh, Shieldred? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Um. <clears throat> wow, the Sun Titan came back? Okay, we're definitely taking Sun Titan. That's insane. <clears throat> Alright, we're feeling okay about this so far. And if we can get, like, I think Shambling Vent did pass us by. But we, we have no, like, fixing lands with, whatsoever. We just have literally an Orzhov Signet to offset these, but... Lifebane Zombie and Flicker Wisp. How good is Flicker Wisp here? Not super great. Actually, not terrible. Lifebane Zombie is definitely more in our wheelhouse, for sure. We do have Grey Merchant. I'm just taking the Lifebane Zombie. It just feels. Brimaz. I mean, like, Brimaz is great. <clears throat> We're going to really need some fixing lands, though. We could just take Aether Sphere Harvester, too, which is just fine. I'll take Aether Street Harvester, because I'm always going to play this. Whereas Double White might be too hard. Field of Ruin is pretty rough fixing, unfortunately. Um, Sort of Warm Peace is fine. Like, I don't think I'm playing Kithian. I don't care about Windbrisk Heights. I'll just take the sword. Terramorphic Expanse? I'll play that. Sublime Archangel. Alright, we're not looking ter- Ooh, Timely is the sideboard card. So seven cards in the sideboard? Like, we literally have to play, like, all the cards in this deck. There's a yikes for me. Conceal'd Courtyard. I think Consort Kinsey of the Courtyard is probably where we want him. Yeah, we're definitely tossing a sword in the main deck. Um, yeah, we'll conceal the Courtyard. I just think it's really important to have fixing here. Especially when there's, like, no bl playable black cards in this pack. We only have Obnixilus. Is that the only Planeswalker we have? I could see taking Immortal Sun. Gideon also good. I think it's Immortal Sun here. All right, well, ideally we get a Chromatic Lantern. That would be great. <laughs> oh, Lingering Souls? <clears throat> That's exciting. All right, we're going to linger. Pack Rat, also good. Ultimate Price, also good. What? Gonti? Wow, no respect for Gotti. Gonti. Gotti. Gotti. Wow, that was amazing. I was scared because you were scared. Yeah, this is coming together. We do need more playables, for sure. But we're getting there. Go for the throat? Okay. We don't have much spot removal other than, like, Hero's Downfall, so I'm actually okay with taking a go for the throat. Oh, wow. That's so... Oh, Sword of Body and Mind is 1,000% playable. I also like Revel Arc. Like, we can get back... What can we get back with a Revel Arc? Let's look. Let's take a Gander. Okay, not a ton, actually. Yeah, not enough. Sword of Body and Mind it is. Erebos. Crux of Fate or Erebos? Uh, 
Yeah, let's say Erebos. Sure. I'll give Erebos. Oh, Godless Shrine? Oh, that's nice. And maybe like Liliana or Glory Bound Initiative tables? Yeah, we're taking the Godless Shrine for sure. We still need like seven picks. That's the hard part. We could play 35 land, 25 lands. Is this a strong year? I mean, like, we've got a bunch of two drops and three drops, and like everything else is this curves normally for 29 cards. Gristle Dad. It's gotta be Gristle Dad, right? Like, we just cast Gristle Dad so many times. Plus, in a 60 card deck, like, I don't even care about uh, milling myself with Gristle Dad. Hmm, take Fumigate. Oh wow, the Gideon Jura came back? Probably Fumigate in the sideboard. Alright, 31 cards. Wow, we're getting there. Yeah, we're definitely double white, double white, double white. Like, we're definitely heavy white here. Oblivion Ring came back. I mean, Pack Rat's great, but I'd rather just have the all-encompassing answer. Well, it's thick in the 4-5-6 slot because you're playing 32 cards, right? Like, we would definitely be cutting from these piles. Mm, Golos? I could see Golosing. Uh, I don't care about any of these, unfortunately. I'll just take Register because it's on color. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh no, it's not looking good. Oh, thank goodness. Liliana came back. Alright, so we can probably just play Fumigate, to be honest. Alright, this is our ridiculous. We're just going to play 35, 25 lands. So, like, here's one land. I'm like, no, Magic, you don't even know what's happening right now. 12. 10. 9. 13. 13, 14, 15, 16, 9, 10, 11, 12. 16, 12. Let's go 11. Wow. All right. Let's do it. Registar is big, especially if you put a sword on it. Like, these are the only two cards. It's funny because these are the only cards we can even consider for this deck that aren't in the deck. Oh, man. So, even if we go 0 3, like, we tried, you know? We definitely tried. Yeah, I'll just play it like this. I think this is fine. <clears throat> Keep it. <laughs> Can't wait till our opponent's like, what? I don't understand. Okay, come on. Don't do me like this. We have 25 lands, which is more than enough for a 60 card deck. Come on. Wow. Punished on the first game. Interesting. Oof. Rewarded. Maybe not rewarded. Oh man, Sword of War and Peace seems great against them. We just have to get in a situation where we can cast it. Yeah, did not think that was going to survive. This might be too much. Wow, Dismember and a Banefire. Seems good. 
I'm wishing I took a languish at this at this particular juncture. I feel like Sword of War and Peace is very, very good against them, but I feel like their opening is very good against us, so, you know. If this is an untapped land, we can play Sword 2 and then next turn maybe have a blocker. Gain 5? I don't know. I mean, I th I'm pretty sure we're, we're dead. Inferno Titan. Kill both these guys. Shoot us. Go to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Token would be 8. Yep, that would be great. I would love to have a Languish in our deck and then draw it. Let's go to 2. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Why didn't you just make a guy and attack us with that guy? That's weird. This is all very strange. Language should be sick, but then we still die to cough, so. Sure. Timely reinforcements. Come on in. Oh, we did have a Fumigate, which is nice. We have a Massacre Arm. Um... I'm going to take a Lifebane Zombie. It seems pretty bad. <laughs> Ironically, our deck doesn't seem terrible. We have Timely Reinforcements, Lingering Souls to block, Aether Harvester, Sword of War and Peace, Soren gives Lifelink to all our guys. We have a Fumigate. We have Massacre Arm. Alright. I mean, we're going to keep it because we have both Blessed Alliance, which we can play, a White Source, and... Okay, we just want one land. One land. To rule them all. And in the darkness. Burst lightning me? Also, Blessed Alliance gives you four life. Oh! Okay. Oh, they're just missing land drops. Okay, well, they missed a land drop. And go to game two. Okay, well, they. this is how we're winning, boys. Well, we don't have anything to crew, unfortunately, but I will pass as well, because apparently neither of us are uh, getting lands. Oh, there you go. You did it. You did it. Smuggler's Chopper. Okay, seven drop. Sounds good. Let me guess, you're hit a third land drop? Yes, seems good. At least one of us has. Did they mulligan? They did not. We're definitely going to... Um, we're definitely going to Blessed Alliance this thing. If we had a land, we could gain four life, which seems relevant to a... Uh... Against the red deck, but... Timely still seems good here. I'm actually not going to gain the life because I'd rather wait until I can get Sublime Archangel out to gain the life, so. Here's a legend. Oh, this is a Praetor, not a demon. Thank you very much. 
I'm actually just going to take two here because we have... If we can go Sublime Archangel into crew, like, that's pretty nuts. Yes. Yes! This is a lot of life. All right. Always yield, always yield, and always yield. Gain an eight life against the red deck. Yeah, that seems pretty good. We got 60 cards in this deck? What a time to be alive. Yep, that seems fine. I mean, we're at 31, like. Sure. That's obnoxious, but what are you going to do? Just going to block here. I don't think one uh, exalted soldier is worth six damage. I think it's Kalidus here. I kind of just want to try to kill Koth or at least get rid of their two their two tokens. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, they'd have to chump block the Sublime Archangel, but if we go both at Koth, they're probably gonna do, they're probably gonna do that anyway. So probably no blocks here. Yeah, it's either no blocks or double blocks, depending on how they what. Dismember. Seems good. Go to five. It's aggressive. I mean, if we can hit a land, being able to go Aetherborn into Solemn, Sim Solemn Visitor seems very, very good. I have one card in hand. Seems okay. Well, maybe not. Burst Lightning Kalidus? Banefire Kalidus, sure. Wow. This is all very good. Draws seem good. Just taking 10 here. Okay. Land is good. They have no cards in hand, so they're in top deck mode. Not terrible.
This is the most mid-range lifelink I've seen in a while, too. This is like... Yeah, we got Kalidus, uh, Timely Reinforcement, Blessed Alliance, Gifted Aetherborn, Aetis Free Harvester, and Soren, all gaining life. I mean, surprisingly, our 60-card deck is... Uh, surviving. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, like this guy would actually, if this guy dies, then we can just get it back with Sun Titan next turn, which is pretty good. Oh, they just call for a million mana and they're going to plus their team to infinity. Does that kill us? They can pump one more time. Like, we block, block. Oh, we gain like a million life, though, too. So this is like four, eight. So we're, we're at like essentially. They have no cards in hand, and they can pump once more if they wanted to. So, we're at essentially 24. And we can prevent, like, this much. So, 5. So, this would be, like, 10, 15. So, we go to 9. Yeah, that's not, that's not the worst for us. I mean, this is fine. I'm just going to keep Soren alive. And then we're going to Sun Titan plus Sun Titan. They're going to Exile Season Pyromancer, which is fine. Oh, they didn't do that. Oh, they can do it at the end of their turn if they want to. <laughs> oh, Sun Titan Infinite Gifted Aetherborns attack with Aether Sphere Harvester and put you to one? Wow. What is even... Rotting Registaur actually doesn't seem terrible. Probably take out... Actually, Gristlebrand, if we just land a Gristlebrand, we... I'm going to take the Ulamog out. I know it was it was in the stipulation, but I, hopefully I can take it out at least and not have to... I'll keep this hand because if we actually go rotting, rotting, Redis, rot, rotting Regisaur into Sword of War and Peace, like it's actually insane. Oh wow. Okay. Turn two into turn three. Oh boy, this could be very, very good, guys. Or turn three into turn four, rather. That seems fine. That's not bad. So we're definitely discarding, like, Gristlebrand here. Maybe. Mm. Could just be Planes, actually. I don't mind Planes, because we have five mana for everything else. Yeah, I think Planes is definitely the... Okay. Well, that's a... That Perforos is frustrating, but I think we're still okay, maybe? Like, they can only attack with one goblin here. Sure.
that seems really good. Do we die? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, I don't think we can attack here because of these two. If we kill Koth, though, this is not online. One, two, three. Do we just have to sit on this? I think we have to kill the Koth here, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not sure we do have a draw here. Like, we just... Like, this is a lot of damage. I mean, they could add nine, pump their whole team times three, and I think we're probably just dead. Oh, wow, that's not what I was expecting at all. Are we still dead? I think we're still dead. I think we're dead. Yeah, they just had the absolute nuts. And then we take two from that. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, and they even targeted the wrong land. Like, we block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then they mentor onto something. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I don't feel too bad. Like, I think our game two is fantastic, and uh, this hand seems very, very good. I'm going to go play some Borderlands, but your radio voice is an excellent counterbalance to the crazy land. Thank you, Josh. Really appreciate your voice compliment. Josh, good luck in the Borderlands, buddy. Good luck in the Borderlands. Keep on pushing my love over the Borderlands. Okay, so just to be clear, Bitter Blossom plus Sword of Body and Mind against a deck that has green in it seems pretty good. Also, when your first two lands are green-white lands, Lifebane Zombie seems pretty good. So maybe we're doing just fine here. This could be good. Uh, skipping one drop in Frenzy? Yes, because skipping one drop was irrelevant because they're not like a super aggressive... They're not like a super aggressive red deck. They're a very, very mid rangey deck with a lot of two, three, and four drops. But all of them were very, very good. Land. No land, huh? Okay. Can you imagine if I put on the wrong one? Jeez. Well, hopefully this will do it. Hopefully this will get us there in three turns, but... Over the borderline, borderlands. This feels like I'm going to lose my mind. You just keep on pushing my love. Just this guy, huh? Oh, all of them. Well, I see. I mean, this is just hoping we hit a land, right? Like, sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Jesus. It's a bloodbath. Quarantine Field, History of Benalia, Master of the Wall Hunt, Ronus, Nissa. I mean, we can just play Kalidas here. 
which seems very, very good. I mean, we could also keep a Blessed Alliance, make them sacrifice, and then gain a life, but even if they Wrath of God here, they still we still get two tokens to put Sword on next turn, so. All right, apparently Sword of Body and Mind wins us the game. Do we want Timely or Rotting Registrar? Hmm. Maybe Timely, actually, because they do have a ways to make. A ways, they have a ways to make tokens. A ways to make tokens. But we might have time to cast Ulamog in this matchup. I'm going to take a Sword of War and Peace also seems decent. I'll take Liliana's Mastery out, I guess. All right. Well, let's see if this uh, if this time layer enforcement gets the job done. Would you say that it bodies people? Wow, Chris. Wow. I wonder if Fossil will ever finish the cycle of swords now that they've shown. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. There's only like two left. Three left? There's three left, right? I mean, they're clearly on their way. I'm jumping on Overwatch. You'll be on in like, what, 10 minutes? 15? How long do you win this draft? It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be close. Close to that. Yikes. This Fumigate's going to be nice if we can not die. Okay. Okay. Three lands. Timely reinforcements. Uh, there's not Orzhov because they have Sword of Light and Shadow. Uh, there is a red... There's a red-green one that we need. There's a blue-black one that we need. Feels like I'm going to lose my... If we can just draw land, land, I'd be, like, ecstatic. Is this a knight? None of these are knights, right? This guy, does this, when does it become a knight? Uh, it becomes a warrior. Never. Never a knight. So, yeah, so we have black, blue. We have red, green. And then we have... Something else, maybe? Um, we're trying to fumigate here, man. Yeah, there's no green-white. That's what it is. Green-white, white-black, black-blue. Those are the three we don't have. No, not 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 white-black. Never mind. I'm getting confused. I'm confusing myself, guys. Do we just throw this Kalidus out there? Probably, right? Like, I mean, if, if we have to hit a white man at a fumigate, so I can't plan... I can't play like we're going to hit a Fumigate for sure. You just keep on pushing my love over the borderlands. You got to attack with this guy, right? No? No, don't do that. Do it this way instead. Feels like I'm going to lose my mind. 
You just keep on pushing, my love, over the borderline. Uh, this guy's kind of obnoxious. I kind of just want to oblivion ring this dude. We could also just Golos and get like a concealed courtyard. Which I think we can do. We're at 19 life. Uh, Corky. Corky McYarderson. They have one card in hand? That's nice. This is where they pump figure just to make sure Ronus can attack. Rice Ronus. Borderline. Mm, easy double block. Oh, and they just give it pro black. That seems good. Not a great double block, actually. And we got Fumigate next turn. All our guys are dying anyway, so. Probably a better block if we blocked here and here, right? Also, we need one more land for Gristlebrand. One more land for Gristlebrand. Might as well attack. Frank decided to stream Overwatch? Uh... Uh... Oh boy. Can we put all of these creatures into the garbage can? Garbage can. You get to keep your, your Roni baloney over here. Oh god, they're gonna play like Primeval Titan. Ugh. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. That's gross. Unless we can draw a land. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Guys, let me tell you how good Blessed Alliance is here. It's really good. Holy majolies. Two modes. Gain four, tart. Choose target player, gain four. One, two, three. Are they gonna regenerate it? <laughs> uh, you done messed up, A.A. Ron! That's not gonna work the way you think it works, good sir. Land? Soren. Well, I'm just going to slam this for now so we can definitely hit a land next turn. His crime was silence, and now he suffers it eternally. That's hilarious. How did you know that flavor text on Thrun, dude? Good lord. Oh. Oh, do you get rid of my Oblivion Ring, or do you get rid of my Graveborn? Oh. Well, isn't that a bold strategy? Give me a card. It's your boy. I bet they're like, man, I wish I held my Banishing Light now. Oh, I guess they can kill this now because of Spear of Heliod. That's obnoxious. I may have forgotten about that. That's okay. We got a lot going on here. I don't feel bad about my life choices. Well, that's a good top deck. And now they get to make a. Uh, now they get to make an Ashaya. Which lets Ronus attack. That's pretty brutal. And they have enough mana to Spear of Heliod us. All things are sad. 
What does it say? Uh, destroy a creature that dealt damage to you this turn? Okay, cool. We can actually kill the Ashaya and kill the Nissa, And still gain, like, 7 life. That seems really good. I'm feeling good about it now. Okay. You just keep on killing, taking my love over the borderline. So now we still gain the seven, which is great. So let's draw some crads. Oh dear. One, two, three. Kill this thing. Oh dear. And then get rid of this thing, finally. And that'll be the end. No, not the end? Oof. Oof! Didn't even have to discard? My word. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Guys, do you see what I'm seeing? Do you see what I see? Oh, they don't have a card to discard. That's real sad. One, two, three. Protection from your whole deck. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's just an 11 11 Gristle Brand with pro green, pro blue, pro white, pro red. I gain five when I attack. You can't target a Spear of Heliod. You mill 10, and I get a wolf. What well, problem is? Grizzlebrand turned into General Grievous. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a quality meme right there. Wow. Jesus. Grievous. Oh boy. I mean, we're 1-1, one, one, and our, our round one, we went 1-2 with our 60-card deck. I am, I mean, this has been going quite well, if you ask me. Uh, you know what? I'll keep this hand. Their deck isn't as super fast, and I, having double black, double white is very, very good. So. Just keep on pushing my cards into the garbage can. Garbage can. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's a good hit. What? Is, wait. Oh, this is round three. Never mind. Oh, my God. I'm actually ridiculous. I was like, yeah, their deck is not very fast. I have no idea what their deck is because I thought this was last round against the green white deck still. That's my bad. It's like I'm going to lose my mind. Fight with fire and pull from tomorrow in the graveyard. Let's see if this gets countered. It always fucking does. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm not going to wait to, to cast that. If you want to counter that, it's whatever. Are they mulligan? God, I feel like they're... Are they just on the play? They're just on the play with a with the Faithless Leading? I feel like I have 19 more cards than they do. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh, did you look at that little cutie? 
What do you got? One, two, three, four. So this guy's, you can just bring that dude next turn. We're going to render that dude's skin. We're going to render your skin, my friend. Did they not do anything? That's fascinating. I mean, they're just gonna counter this, right? Because they got they have two cards. Maybe not. Probably. Sure. They have one card. Well, we're not attacking. We're tapped out. And They put a card on the bottom. Okay. Feel like I'm going to live long enough. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. How about this guy and an island? Or three islands? I mean, you obviously take the... Oh, I guess we should have put the mountains together, right? So they can't just cast this guy this turn. Yeah, that would have been better. But I didn't want to give them three mountains. I don't know. Cool hit. Bribery. Seems good. Seems real good when we got Gristlebrand. Wow. Wow, that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna suck. <laughs> that's gonna be the game. Holy god. I actually probably should have just put Augur Bolus by itself. If you want to take four lands, that's fine. Then they couldn't have cast it here. I mean they'd still have bribery, right? But now we get to see the bribery, so I guess. There's no situation where I want them to see my deck and also um, where I can beat in a, a Gristle Brand where they draw seven. It's like, Fema Gate's great, but oh, I don't think it's really doing it. I won't bring in the Registar again. Take out Masquerum here. Oh, actually, we we'll probably take out Fema Gate, right? I'd rather have a big idiot. Dude, Sammy, two kills with Baby Jace is awesome. That's super cool, man. Uh, would you like to play first? Yes. I'll keep this hand, even though we're missing crucial white cards. I feel like this might be the hardest matchup for us because, like, it's kind of it's kind of crucial that our threats stick, but. It seems harder for them to do that against this deck, so. Bedlam Reveler and Thought Scout are fascinating. White. Hey, that is a white. Look at that. We did it. Oh, jeez. Feels like I'm going to lose my mind. Keep on putting your cards into the exile zone. Exile zone. Got him. Well, that was mastery. Not bad. Not bad. I'm just gonna play Icerath here because I don't feel like walking into like a sensor. I mean, if you have mana leak, essence scatter. 
think smallpox on a creature would be too strong for modern removal. Uh, it's really weird because then you're sacri- like, then you- it comes with a creature to sacrifice. So it's basically like a smallpox that says- I mean, it's, it's might as well be a card that says your opponent sacrifices a creature, both players discard a card, both players sacrifice a land, right? Because you're only- only one of you is actually sacrificing a creature in that situation. Yeah, this is where they just counter everything we do. It's really obnoxious. So I guess we're probably just gonna, probably just gonna one two here. But that's okay. I don't think it would be too strong. I just think the effect itself is kind of redundant on a creature because it's making you sacrifice a creature. So it might as well be a sorcery that doesn't make you sacrifice a creature, right? Same if you cast smallpox with no creatures. Though. Right, but like... But that's why that's not... I mean, like, that's not... The thing about smallpox is the symmetry, right? I don't know, like... Oh, they got bribery again. Like, they're, if they're going to play bribery every game and they're just going to get Gristlebrand or, or Ulamog, like, we just can't win. Like, it's just... It's just whatever. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's a broken card, but you can also get it back with things like... I think I think it's actually... You have to take into consideration the cards surrounding it, right? I think it's actually extremely powerful. Uh, extremely more powerful than, than something like Smallpox because you can get it back with Claim, claim to Fame. You can get it back with Unearth. Um, if you have, like, a 6-6 six, six and you play this guy, you can easily just sacrifice your 1-1 one, one instead. Um, being able to get it back from the graveyard is really kind of scary. Did I not... I mean, if they mana leak this, I'm just done, because they're just going to bribe her next turn anyway. I mean, we're just going to play through the bribery, but I, I'm pretty much going to guarantee you. <laughs> sure. I'm pretty much going to guarantee you that bribery is going to be the game. Like. Yeah, and they actually flipped this first, so now they can bribery. And not have to return the creature, so. Yep. It's all happening. I mean, Ulamog's ability is is worse because we have 47 cards in our deck, but it's also still a 10-10 indestructible creature. Yep. Man, things are not on the ice anymore. You ain't kidding, buddy. You ain't kidding. Over the borderline. Well, they oh they whiffed on their second Narset activation. What a bunch of oh yeah, look at that. That's a dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sun Titan. Okay, let's try again. <sighs> I guess we're not strictly dead. Oh, why do it at the end of my turn? It doesn't never makes any sense to me. People just feel like they do things at the end of the turn because that's when they're supposed to do them. But there's really no benefit to doing it at the end of my turn. Like, you even get to look at another card, so maybe you don't want to do it for some reason. It's not likely, but, like, there's really no strategy to doing it at the end of my turn. This, this ability in particular. Not like... A lot of things there are. But... Really, I'm just being nitpicky because I'm so far out of this game thanks to Gristlebrand. It's really... That's really all it comes down to. 
There's nothing wrong with doing it at the end of the turn. I'm just being nitpicky because this is mine. This is my gristle brand. Either way, even going 1-2, I'm still pretty pleased with the way this deck turned out. And I think going 60 cards is really hard in, in in cubes because you have to almost dedicate all of your picks. And if you get like three or four bad picks that you can't use at the end of your packs, it's really hard to do. I know those feels. I mean, this is mine, okay? Uh, no blocks. Sure. What do you got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. This guy costs two. Hmm. Well, we're probably just fine. What could go wrong? I don't know, Immortal Sun. I don't think you're doing it this time, buddy. I'm just going to concede, guys. Uh, we're dead to Gristlebrand and 5-5 five, five Flyer. Either way, I think it went I think it went okay. Bulamog, thank you so much for the for the for the donation for the stip. Really appreciate it, buddy. I still had a good time. I still think we cast Gristlebrand. We we activated him. We got to we got to double sword Gristlebrand. That was pretty cool. We almost beat the mono red deck. We were a little too slow with Registrar and Sword. I think we had some pretty cool moments in the 60 card deck. And uh, that's really all I can hope for. If you guys want to submit your own stipulations before the cube goes away, which is another week and a half, uh, you can definitely find out how to do so in my Twitch profile or my Patreon page or my... I don't know, YouTube YouTube description. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, though. You can check me out at CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday. Um, you can find me at Manatraders.com. You'll get 20% off the first three months with any uh, subscription if you use the link and promo code. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I'll see you next time.